All right, this is Zombie Division by Eric the Elephant. I like to show uh, certain concepts over and over again in different ways. Uh, I want to do this really fast. So, um, you ever notice how the division symbol actually looks like a fraction? Well, that's for a reason, I believe. Uh, you also have 10 divided by 2, and it looks kind of like, you know, if you had the dot and the dot. And then you got 10 over 2, that's a fraction. Uh, but it's the same thing as saying 10 divided by 2. So you take that and say, okay, great. 10 divided by 2. When you say it, it looks like 10 divided by 2. Well, what, the way you can remember what to put in the house and what to put outside of the house is by looking at the 10 over the 2, and you see that the 2 is actually the zombie, and the 10 are the people or the children above the ground level. And you say, oh, okay, the 10 needs to run into the house because the zombie is going to come up under the ground and try to divide it. So you take the 2 over 10, you say, okay, now the 2 is going to try to share the 10 people in the house. They're going to be fair because we know zombies are very fair. They're going to say, okay, um, then the 10 divided by the 2 is going to equal how many pieces per zombie? And then you say, okay, um, well, 10 divided by 2 is kind of like saying what times 2 equals 10. You say, well, I can put 5 into 2 5s into 10. So 5 times 2 equals the 10, and then you get 0 left over. Got it? So that's how you can remember that 10 divided by 2 is the same as saying 10 divided by 2 zombies, because 2 zombies are trying to divide the 10 people. And you know that the zombies are always going to be at the bottom of the fraction. And when you're doing a division problem, it's really just looking at a fraction.